Yo, so check it out, man. Uh, I know I'm a little late, but it's all good. I've been depriving myself of watching this footage because I've been so busy just doing other things and, you know, got the full-time job, plus the music stuff and trying to put it out. But I've been seeing the uh, links and thumbnails to the new Mortal Kombat 1 footage. I tell you, I always going to be keeping it up or keeping up with it over here. So definitely wanting to check out these trailers with y'all break it down as much as I can and see what Mortal Kombat is bringing to the fighting game scene this time around. You know, Street Fighter 6 is in full uh, fluctuation right now. People's, you know, trying all the different characters and pushing forward the tech and, you know, just experimenting all around. Apparently that game is, uh, you know, pretty balanced and, uh, you know, actually very skillful as well. So up in the difficulty I know there's been quite a few control, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Controller like uh, complaints and things from the hitbox to the modern controls to the classic controls. I don't know if Mortal Kombat's going to be hitting on any type of thing like that. Uh, they kind of have their own control scheme and it's worked so well for them throughout the years that I doubt we'll see much as far as a true gameplay change. Now, I heard things as far as assist gameplay. And, uh, you know, that's to be seen. I haven't seen anything on this. So this is all fresh to me. I just hope we can, uh, again, we're going to break it down as much as we can. We saw the cinematic trailer. We have a official debut trailer right here, gameplay-wise. And uh, without further ado, let's jump into it. We've wasted enough time already. Enough of you. Then go before I put you down. Fight! Today, you have proven worthy of joining us. Come. There are other champions I must gather. What do you want? Sento. It's my family blade. Sento's mine. And I won't give it up without a fight. Back to one here. Who are you again? Lord Liu Kang, protector of Earthrealm, god of fire. You have skills, Raiden, but you're inexperienced. Whatever experience I lack, I make up for in heart. If your disease becomes known, you will be banished. I only want what's best for you. Or do you secretly covet my throne?
right, man. So, as you can imagine, my mind is blown. There's so much that we could touch on in this game, man. Like, from start to ending of this trailer, there is just mad content to break down and discuss, right? First of all, I mean, I guess we should start from the beginning. We got Sub-Zero jumping into the action, which doesn't really have anything to do with gameplay, right? But then we have, but then we have this square down with uh, Kung Lao and Sub-Zero. I have had enough of you. Then go before I put you down. Fight! Alright, man. So this is our first look, official first look at the gameplay. You see... Sub Zero coming in with a strong right fist to the face. Uh, first thing I notice about the gameplay is that it looks great. I think the character models are all fantastic. This is obviously Mortal Kombat 1, and it's not, I guess, the original Mortal Kombat 1. We saw Liu Kang as the fire god uh, coming in and kind of, I guess, he's going to fill everybody in on what exactly is going on amongst the realm. Uh, you can see Sub Zero. I'm not sure if this is Bihan, uh, which is the original Sub Zero, or Kai, Kai Liang, ones that uh, the one the Sub Zero that most of us are familiar with. Uh, no scar here, so that what makes me think it's either a young Kai Liang or a young Bihan. And obviously, this is Kung Lao before, uh, well, not even before anything. Just no Shaolin hat right here. Uh, let's see. Very smooth. Very smooth. Uh, obviously, this is going to be a tag team. Thing. Long combos are back. You know what I mean? So if you like the combos, it seems like you have that ability as well. I've noticed uh, in a lot of these as well, too, there was a lot of air combat gameplay. So air combos will be kind of a big thing for this game as far as, uh, I guess, uh, traditional wall to walls you know what i mean uh type of combos um let's see there was a, there's also an assist mechanic today and as you see sub zero again did another wall to wall right there uh we get a little fill in with the story right here i want to skip ahead uh to some of this uh Johnny Cage action we saw. And this is Kenchi before he's blind. Or maybe after he's blind, technically, because again, this is a reset on the whole timeline. So maybe he got regenerate or reborn with his eyes. Like that's kind of how I'm viewing it as of right now. You're gonna see a lot of the tag team I think you'll see some of the tag team stuff in this bit of footage. Fight. <laughs> Yeah, so we got Sub Zero coming in, well, like in an X ray form. So, as y'all know, we have assist heroes, right? And Johnny Cage is also an assist uh, character. I can't remember what they're actually calling him, but I'm going to call him an assist for the sake of this vid. Uh, which is, again, this tag team scenario. So, they're going to do an actual tag team X ray right here. <laughs> Now, my first question is, does everybody have a type of combination for this type of x-ray? I'm guessing they do. And again, with the tag team assist, I'm guessing that you'll also have different types of setups to as a, according to which assist character you might choose. And uh, a lot of games are kind of with the assist or have done the assist mechanic. I guess uh, probably the most notable would be Marvel vs. Capcom. Uh, most notably lately would definitely have to be Dragon Ball Fighters, I would say, with their assist mechanic. Probably the most thorough one we've had since a Marvel vs. Capcom type of game. But this looks to have the same type of linking combos. So in a lot of the assist type games, you do a combo, you set up a pop-up or a stall type of move, and you'll call your assist to more or less cover your recovery for a move that may be too slow to follow up on 
and then you continue a combo after your assist character does what he has to do, right? Very cool uh, grab animation, I'm guessing, is that what that was? Uh, just the whole zoom in, zoom out of the camera, the strength of the kick. Very good. The damage animations, as far as uh, the reaction animations are great. You can see Johnny gave him a thorough uh, punch to the nuts. And not only the punch to the nuts, but the sweep of the leg to cause uh, Kenshi to kind of go off balance, cross leg, right? And as he's over there, he gives him that, you know, swift, firm punch to the groin. And we got the great reaction by Kenshi. Just great work all around on the mocap, I believe, is what uh, NetherRealm mostly uses. So just great work all around with the animations so far in this game. Enough. <laughs> okay, let's go back to one here. Who are you again? Lord Liu Kang, protector of Earthrealm, god of fire. Now, Liu Kang is another, again, he's been developed quite a bit right here. We're not going to get that basic uh, Bruce Lee influenced Liu Kang in this. There's going to be a lot of, I mean, you would get to Kung, Kung Fu for sure, but we're getting a kind of like uh, Raiden and Liu Kang, it looks like have switched places. Like Raiden's been toned down and Liu Kang's been turned up. Obviously, due to the role switch, uh, Raiden was the god of thunder. Now we have Liu Kang, the god of fire. You just don't be a god and be regular, right? So they got Liu Kang spiced up just a bit, which I'm kind of uh, uh, about. I like the original, just Bruce Lee inspired Liu Kang. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think less is more sometimes when it comes to fighters, but uh, gr uh, definitely a great look. We have a young scorpion right here. Uh, What's his actual name? I can't remember uh, Scorpion's real name. But anyway, we have a young Scorpion right here. And it looked like Liu Kang was gathering the troops, from what I could tell. Like, I don't know if there's a tournament. We haven't heard anything as far as the, what the full story is for this game. But it looks like Liu Kang is gathering troops for some things. That is probably like a tournament. <laughs> Okay, and this is our first look at the assist mechanic uh, outside of the x-ray. So as you can see, the king pops him up with the combo of kicks. You can see his recovery would not allow him to follow up on this move. Therefore, I'm guessing as soon as he hits the combo, there's an assist type of button or maybe an input that brings Jax in to go for his classic air backbreaker as an assist and then Liu Kang follows up with the fireball and the air kick to finish out the combo and Jax just kind of you know what I'm saying does the Patrick Ewing off screen looking like Patrick Ewing right here you know Patrick getting on that fast break and then as soon as he dips out we got Scorpion with the air combo you see what I'm saying Got him up here in the air, hit him three times, and then uh, through the spear. And actually kicks on the way down. You gotta be quick to catch that. Kicks on the way down to, again, keep him in a juggle state to where he can land and follow up with, I'm guessing this is, it's either an advanced uh, scorpion uh, spear or a new move. And as you can see, Liu Kang's never did anything like that before with the three kicks and a fire cartwheel. Techni I take that back, actually, because what this cartwheel was uh, uh, a fatality, I believe, at least a finishing kick. No, I take that back as well. It was not his fatality. It was a completely different animation, but it kind of inspired by that animation, you could say. You have skills, Raiden, but you're inexperienced. Whatever experience I lack, I make up for in heart. And we have a classic, or this is going to be a whole new story, I believe. Kenshi vs. Raiden. Uh, again, Raiden is not the Thunder God, but he still has those Thunder powers. So it's going to be interesting to see how Raiden plays in this game. I'm guessing he will stay more 
pretty traditional. It'll be he'll be affected more in the story as opposed to his actual gameplay. I would say, right? Again, we have Sonya coming in for Kenshi. This time, more of just a raw setup. Well, I take that back. He did combo into it. So Kenshi hits him with the two strikes, calls the assist. Sonya comes in, causes a pop up. Kenshi will continue to combo. And this is interesting. So we have a combo breaker as well. It looks like with your assist. This is Kano uh, playing with Raiden. And you can see as, uh, Kenshi, as Kenshi tries to finish off Raiden's combo, Kano comes in and just stops it, stops it all, and we get a clean break back to neutral. You see, three hits, call your assist. Kano comes in with the knives. He gets two call. Oh, this is actually not two calls of the assist. So. Uh, I don't know if the meters are separated or not, but you, you'll you have an assist meter and then you'll have an x-ray meter. So we saw the assist and now they're finishing the combo going into the x-ray, which uh, I believe Raiden called Kano to start it up. If your disease becomes... But then again, is this an x-ray? Because it looked like, unless it's just cut footage, it looked like it went straight from that Kano blast. And this is a fatality because, I mean, his his whole body is just gone after this. Like, you can see the gap and all that. That's a little bit more uh, grotesque for uh, the x-ray animation. I know they get pretty brutal as well, but you don't usually lose your body in an x-ray. You just get messed up. <laughs> If your disease becomes known, you will be banished. I only want what's best for you. Or do you secretly covet my throne? Again, some air combos. Definitely more traditional to Katana anyway. You know, she usually has the air fans. So I'm sure uh, players of Katana will like that. Just getting in the air, doing some damage. It looks like they're real quick though. Not really a thorough, I can't say it's not thorough but not really a complex air combo system, just more of a go up, get your damage, mid combo, I should say. I don't know how well they'll play as far as defensively meeting people in the air uh, and, and fighting that way, but definitely a combo filler, so it looks like gonna be the entire cast. See Goro coming in with the traditional brawl punches he had in a MKX, and then uh, Melina comes through with her classic ball. Another air combo. We saw Raiden in a new attire right there. And as I said, these are just kind of, it looks like you just get good damage on these or just good follow-ups. Say you catch somebody mid-air, it allows you to go and get uh, damage you may have left on the table uh, in prior games. Also great corner carry, right? Like... Is this going to play into the meta of this game, like carrying people far to the corner? I mean, corner play is a big thing in every fighting game, but this looks like that's like the only utility I see for the air combo other than it like looking cool. Got your boy Striker is back as an assist character. I don't know if he'll be on the main roster. Got the traditional... Uh, clothing or attire right here i always love striker man but people hate on striker but it's cool to see him appear in this game handing out the uh his classic taser uh this was actually a fatality in uh one of the older games another 
tag team assist right here. You saw uh, Jack. You see Jax and, uh, or my fault, Scorpion and Kung Lao. Yeah. finished off uh, how he started Kung Lao and that other bit. Went through that hole and split him up. So I don't know if that was the actual gameplay we saw. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay, so we... Uh, yeah, we get the final. I'll play this final fatality one more time just because it's so classic. And I love that they... I love they finally added uh, the freeze effect to the, to the spine rip. Hold on. <laughs> And this is weird because uh, we got to talk about this because Scorpion is actually the one doing, you know, doing the fatality, I would say, because he is in the final uh, final screen animation where the dizzy animation uh, and then you see Sub-Zero come from off screen. So as far as the assist characters, does, do both characters get a fatality? Like say I pick Striker. Since we haven't seen him as a main character yet, does he still have a fatality equipped to where at the end screen I can call him in to do a different type of fatality? Because, you know, you get your one or two in the previous games. I know you had two and uh, you had a lot, actually, a lot of ways to finish opponents in MK11. Uh, so I, I can only imagine that's going to expand in this game. People love that stuff so much, such as like the friendships and fatalities, brutalities. Don't know if we'll ever see animalities back. But, uh, you know, that'd be very cool to see, you know, if everybody, including the assist heroes, have a fatality. Or is it just going to be the assist heroes are already in the game as far as main heroes, like, or main fighters? Uh, will, they be the, will they be the only ones that are going to have fatalities as well? But let's let this rock. Uh. <laughs> And then you get the final animation with the cold spine. Very cool to see Stub Zero and Scorpion standing together. Uh, you know, even though they're tearing people's heads off, I wouldn't want to meet these guys, obviously. But uh, yeah, man, uh, this is uh, this looks good, man. This looks good. If th I'm guessing this is the victory screen right here. So uh, depending on uh, how that all works, I think that's a great idea to allow just more ways to finish opponents. You know, the, even though we do still have a lot of finishers, some of them are pretty difficult to get depending on your skill level as far as some of the friendships. But uh, fatalities is always, you know, you're always going to get your opportunity to do a fatality. So the option to do more than just the two that you're gifted is going to switch up the, the, final, uh, the final way a match ends, I guess, or the finality of the match. You know, we'll keep it, keep it not as stale. I know when I do fatalities on people, they usually just exit out on me. I don't know if it's because, like, they, like, you know, obviously they're mad they lost, but it's like, have they just seen the fatality so many times? Because I didn't really play MK11 like that. Like, I played it, but I didn't really play it heavily. So when I win, I like to do my fatalities because I don't see them often. And uh, I just wonder if that uh, plays a part in the people leaving the game. I think it's a little bit of both. There's a lot of salt in that as well. You know what I mean? Salt in the wound, but... uh I digress, man. Uh, I'm very impressed with the trailer. I was very impressed with the cinematic trailer. This is Mortal Kombat. This is NetherRealm Studios. These guys know how to put together a great fighting game. We'll go ahead and put it back on the uh, release date right here. September 19th is in our blood. You know what I mean? And, uh, of course, we got the pre-order for Shang Tsung uh, as well at the end. This was a, yeah, this is a good trailer. Uh, you know, classic assist fighter, it looks like. Not too complex as far as something we uh, we haven't seen before. You know what I'm saying? I think uh, if you're familiar with assist fighters, you can kind of get a feel of the, how this game plays already. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see all the assist characters we get. Still want to see the full main roster. Who's going to make the cut? This is a next-gen game, so this is probably going to be bigger than 
any other Mortal Kombat we've seen. And for the release date to be right around the corner, you know, we've been getting flooded with information. Still a lot of other videos on Mortal Kombat 1 I can get into and break down. Hope y'all enjoyed this, man. Uh, I'm going to be playing Mortal Kombat 1. And I'm also going to be playing Street Fighter 6, but I'm a little bit behind on it right now. Just don't have the time to commit to it. But uh, I'm very, very interested in both of the games. And I hope y'all are having a great time if you're already playing them and, and enjoying yourselves. Let me know who y'all want to see in MK1. Let me know uh, what you think of the assist mechanics. Let me know if I missed anything in this trailer. Uh, there's so much to go over. Uh, let me know if you like the new styles, the new looks for some of the characters. I know we saw a lot of classic costume designs, a lot of new designs for some characters in this. So, you know, everybody's uh, everybody uh, has a view of their MK character. Me personally, uh, just for an example, I love Air Mac in the ninja form. And uh, I know a lot of people like the soul kind of like sorcerer form. I hope we can please both of those sides because I'm always going to go traditional ninja. That's just kind of how Mortal Kombat, you know, was born and raised, just traditional ninja style. So I really want to see if we got some of these classic costumes back. Hope we can see the classic Air Mac, classic Rain, uh, classic Reptile, even though I did like MKX's form of reptile not the full reptile but whatever ninja suit they had for that version that was sick man uh you know will we see quan chi will we see shinnok i don't know seems like shang sung is the big big bad as he usually is and uh will we we saw goro so he's an assist character but who's going to be the boss characters in this will we have any brand new characters coming out there's so much to uh, speculate on as this game goes and, and there might be things already out that I'm I'm speaking on that you know you've already got uh, clarification on or what have you but as I said I'm I'm late on this I wanted to get this out to y'all because I want to talk about it with y'all and uh, hopefully I'll enjoy this video this is D's World go ahead again like and subscribe appreciate y'all coming through man Mortal Kombat 1 is right on the horizon bro you know what I mean we're going to put it back on the logo before we get up out of here, uh, you know what I mean? Nether Realm Studios, MK with the dragon. Yeah. Well, that wasn't smooth at all, was it? Here we go. We're going to put it on the dragon before we get up out of here. Uh, yeah. This was fun, man. I'm really excited. Keep God close. And this is your host, Drone.